A single worker is a busy bee. In her short lifetime, she will visit thousands of flowers, pollinating a variety of plants that we rely on for food. These fuzzy little friends of ours have had a harmonious relationship with us since the beginning of human existence. While they don't need us for their survival, we heavily depend on them. Every part of what they produce is, is medicine for us and they've evolved with us, so we've got a special um, connection with them. Much like us humans, bees are encountering a huge challenge in the face of invasive species, climate change and environmental degradation. In the past 60 years, bee populations have been dropping at alarming rates and continue to come under threat. What has come to be known as colony collapse disorder is due to a variety of factors, including the parasitic varroa mite, as well as monoculture farming, loss of habitat, and toxic insecticides, particularly near nicotinoids. Victoria this year has had a colony collapse event in some beekeepers' apiaries to the point of 50%. In order to meet the issues that the bees and we both face, we could benefit from emulating their communal behaviour. Bees comprise a superorganism and their successful productivity and survival is due entirely to the community effort of the hive. Can humans respond to these crises currently affecting the bees by coming together, acting as a collective and creating the change that is desperately needed? The plight of bees has captured people's hearts and propelled them into action and human ingenuity and compassion are taking place the world over with a number of innovative projects. A hugely successful Australian backyard beehive design called Flowhive, which harvests honey on tap, has smashed crowdfunding records and in an effort to raise $70,000, raised 12 million. They've inspired new beekeepers around the world. Beekeeping is an extraordinary way to get in touch with our interconnectedness with all of life, with the extraordinary matrix we're all part of. Bees are also benefiting from human-provided habitat in inner-city rooftop beehives, pollinator hives, which are purely homes, not honey harvesters, and insect hotels for our lone living native pollinators, like the blue-banded bee. It's all about increasing the biodiversity in your garden. The native bees really have a bit of a hard time in our urban environment. On a larger scale, we're seeing the world's first bee habitat highway in Oslo, Norway, community bee-friendly gardens and educational programs, gene diversity studies, protests and petitions leading to total bans on toxic harmful pesticides, efforts to adopt wild hives rather than destroying them, and the Australian government has even recently funded a program to protect bees. This surge in interest worldwide speaks to a dramatic evolution in our attitude and understanding of bees and our collective action demonstrates the positive impact that can be made when humans understand our connection with nature and choose to protect it.